difficult thing to add to what you have. In other words, if you've got potential yields that you can demonstrate yeah. in yeah. small plots of yeah. 11 tons or whatever it is, to gain another 100 kilos or a yeah. tenth of a yeah. ton is a tremendous yeah. struggle, right? Yeah. That's right? And it becomes more and more difficult as the yields go up. I made a... Uh, the agriculture economists, uh, that, uh, Randy Bacher and some of these people that were at Erie, have estimated that in 1990 we need 570 million metric tons of rice to take care of, of, of Asia. And I went through a little exercise of estimating what I thought they could do in, 1900, in, the, in, in the year 2000. In the year 2000. And in the year 2000, I figured that we'd be 50 million metric tons shy of the estimate that we need to feed the people. So they're going to have to import it from somewhere else. You and get the nasty comment, to, I say nasty from the standpoint of nonsensical and difficult to, it's kind of infuriating too, that say, oh, you've proven that uh, Malthus was wrong in his <laughs> concept. Is that, do you get that pitched at you? Oh, yes, of course. Mount, Mount how do you, he, how was do ahead you of his, he was ahead of his time, that's so <laughs> all. It's eventually going to catch up. But he didn't realize what was going to happen in America. Okay. And, 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 and uh, with uh, new technology. And new technology in, in Europe and like, so forth. And, and like your yeah, rice. And still going, still going on. But, um, but he's, eventually he's going to be right.